Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about Picard. Uh, Picard is a new Star Trek series starring Patrick Stewart, who, if you don't know, once played uh, Captain Jean-Luc Picard in Star Trek The Next Generation, which I believe uh, began in 1987 and wrapped up in 1994, um, and then did four movies right after that. Uh, one, the first one was Star Trek Generations, which came out the same year that the that the series had ended. Uh, then they did in 1996 Star Trek First Contact, with which many believe was the best out of the four films. Uh, Star Trek Insurrection, Insurrection, <laughs> which was in 1998, and then Star Trek Nemesis in 2002. Uh, that's the one starring Tom Hardy, by the way. If you want to see a really young Tom Hardy before he was famous. Uh, the Star Trek Nemesis, he plays the villain in that movie. So, with that being said, Star Trek Picard, uh, what do I have to think about this series? As someone who, you know, grew up with The Next Generation, my mom was a, a fan of the series and, and watched it, and I, because we had a black and white TV in our kitchen uh, back in the day, and my mom would always watch it during dinner time. Uh, I would uh, watch it too. Uh, <laughs> and yes, I said black and white TV. The, the, those still existed back in the 90s. Uh, my, my dad wanted at a fair or something like that. So anyways, getting back on track. Uh, yes, I, I was looking forward to this series because I did grow up with the next generation uh, and did get accustomed to those characters and, and grew to really enjoy them um, and the cast uh, and stories and so forth, and uh, going into this series, the trailers looked really good, I'm, I'm gonna say that, and so going into it, in this first episode, I was actually pleasantly surprised, I think I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to, and uh, that's saying a lot, as someone who's not a hardcore Trek fan, you know, I never got into the original Trek series, I've seen a few episodes, not enough to say I'm a fan, though. <laughs> I've seen a few episodes here and there of Deep Space Nine and Voyager, but again, maybe one or two episodes, that was about it. Uh, Enterprise, I tried watching a long time ago, but never got into it. Star Trek Discovery looked cool to me, but I'm going to tell you what, Picard, I'm going to be sticking with, because I really like the setup that this uh, series brought up by introducing us to Picard and where he is today. Uh, kind of feel, it felt a little bit like Logan to me in some sense, although a PG-13 version of Logan. And he's not going, this time, uh, Patrick Stewart is, is a little bit more in control of himself. Where in the last, in, in Logan, he was playing more of a, um, uh, old man with Alzheimer's, right? An old father who, who felt like he had kind of had Alzheimer's or something like that to that extent. This one, he's still a sane... Okay, I shouldn't say he was insane in Logan, but he's he's more mentally intact. Um, and he goes on this adventure with this girl that he runs into who comes to him because she's having visions of him. Uh, and there's something in peculiar uh, with this girl. Uh, something that uh, he starts to recognize. And I do like the whole setup that the... That the story starts to bring us into, and um, I had heard uh, th some theories on who this girl was before I saw the episode, uh, but the episode makes it pretty clear who she she is, um, and I really do like that. I really do like a lot of the twists and turns throughout this episode, and the show itself feels like a movie. It it looks and feels like a movie. The special effects are really well done for a TV budget, and, like, more... This is not like the CW, where the, the, the effects look cheap. This is actually pretty solid effects that, you know, that, the, the, like, the, the old Star Trek series wishes it could have had. Uh, and uh, I really do like the actors, the supporting cast, uh, so far. Uh, it doesn't seem that big of a supporting cast, but from what the cast that we have seen, uh, whether they're guests or, or not, uh, I think so far they have been great. And Patrick Stewart specifically, you can feel that he is someone that has a lot of weight behind him. He's been through a lot of experiences. And uh, you can 
feel that he's a little tired at times too, but I think that's the design of it. And uh, Patrick Stewart really, uh, he, he definitely gets back into this character. It's always weird for me now to see him standing up again because I'm like so used to seeing him in a wheelchair from the X-Men films that it was, it was nice seeing him actually standing. You can sometimes tell when they switch uh, to a body double, though, when he needs to run. <laughs> but that's fine. I mean, that's to be expected. Um, and there's some action in here that I thought was pretty good. Uh, so, look, I, I think this is a really cool series. I don't know what the hardcore Star Trek fans think, but as someone who grew up with the Next Generation, I, I can say I think this is one that the Next Generation fans... Uh, will enjoy, and I think even non-Trek fans might enjoy as well. I think this is one that every... I think both sides will be pleasantly happy um, with this series. Uh, so, and it looks like we'll be getting more of the Next Generation stuff uh, of Picard's past in, in later episodes. So if, if you've seen the trailers, uh, you know some characters that are supposed to pop in and out here and there. And uh, look... If this series, if this sh season uh, continues to go on track with the way this episode was, I'll be very happy with seeing a season two. So uh, is, this is only episode one, and it could drop the ball next week. But uh, I, I'm definitely going to stick around with this series and check it on a weekly basis. So with that being said, guys, that's my review for Star Trek Picard. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, take care.